I'm Manuel Hernandez and welcome to Norwich City Centre. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Centre. I hope you're doing very, very well and welcome back to another match preview on the channel. It's been a while since I've done these match previews, but we're getting towards the business end of the season now, you know, only a dozen or so games left and it's kind of make or break now. Um, for lots of teams in the championship and it's it's always exciting when you get down to this to this part of the season when there's so many shock results and so much to play for. Um, Norwich versus Brentford, first versus second, the real championship showdown, uh, the biggest game of Norwich's season so far and it's going to be absolutely decisive. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below because, you know, th these type of games against the when the, when the top clubs come against each other they can make or break teams and it's all about how you react if the, re the result doesn't go well but in this match preview going to be talking about Norris City going to be talking out about our opponents Brentford and also be going through team news and the expected predicted XIs um, and all of that good stuff I'd love to hear your thoughts down below um, and yeah let's get into the preview let's start by talking about Brentford we played them early on in the season in a 1-1 draw Brentford dominated us um, in, in that game. I, I remember rightly, Ivan Tony put the 1 0 up. Um, and this was around the point of the season where Tim Krull was our clear player of the season. Probably not our player of the season now, but um, Tim Krull made some great saves that day. And we got we got a 1 1 draw with a Kenny McLean deflected goal. Um, it's the l most fortunate and, and luckiest goal I think we've scored this season, but we managed to get a draw, which you know could could really be priceless because it means Brentford drop two points and we gain a point, and that's what six points is all about. Um, in terms of how Brentford are doing this season, of course they're doing very well. Thomas Frank has got them playing great football, and Brentford are a team I admire in the Championship. They're one of my favourite teams to watch, and what I love about Brentford, if you look at their club size, they're a League One, maybe bottom end Championship team, but year on year they've kept building, they've managed to have smart recruitment and I would argue Norwich and Brentford are the two best um, have got the two best recruitments in the league of course Norwich have more money but Norwich and um, Brentford um, worked their way up there was a small club and they've kept selling players on smart buying clever transfers and that's why Brentford are now a team who are not in League One um, like so many clubs who fail and are a team who are fighting to be in the Premier League. Play ex extractive football, you know, selling Ollie, Ollie Watkins for £30 million, and that's their business model. And their star man at the moment is Ivan Tony, who's going to play in the Premier League very soon. Um, he's a top-class striker. He's a top scorer in the Championship with 24 goals, which is an absolutely remarkable return. He could potentially beat Pukki's 29 goals two seasons prior. Ivan Tony's been great. Um, that's a brilliant signing from Peterborough and... Um, that's what Brentford are all about, smart signings. They've also got Chris Mbembo, who's one of the top assist makers in, in the league, it's kind of between him and Buendia, although Buendia is, let's be, I'm not being, you know, being impartial here, but Buendia is better. But lots of really talented attacking players. Defensively, though, is where they probably let themselves down in terms of the teams fighting for promotion. They are probably have the leakiest defence, have conceded the most goals, and that's probably where they're... Um, weaknesses lie but they kind of remind me a little bit of Norwich two years ago where they score lots of goals they'll be really exciting games um, but maybe don't have that kind of discipline defensively and kind of know-how of how to get into the Premier League um, but they're going to be a very dangerous team and it's going to be a real showdown between Ivan Tony and Timo Pukki as well cause, because Timo Pukki has been in, in, in the last month one of the best players in the Championship he's just on a crazy goal scoring run I think seven goals in the last six games or something stupid like that and, you know, Ivan Tony's the top scorer. Timo Book is the third top scorer, although I, I do expect him to overtake Adam Armstrong. So it's going to be very interesting between those two. But that's my summary of Brentford, a really good attacking team with clever transfers. As for Norwich, uh, at the start of the month, we were very worried. They couldn't score goals. They couldn't even have shots on target and they lost to Swansea and it really opened itself up and looked like it was going to be a free horse race. But since then... Five games, five wins in a row, and that's how football can change. Brentford overtook us in the table, and now Norris City has seven points clear of Brentford. And they've been on a great run, obviously, having that great win against Stoke, and then some really good wins against you know teams who are near the bottom. But it doesn't matter who you play, you've got to win them. Brentford have lost to Coventry, who, who we beat. So it doesn't matter who you play, you've just got to win those games. And yeah, Norris City have beaten Coventry, Birmingham, Rotherham, Wickham recently. Um, and what I've noticed about Norris City is just so much professionalism in terms of a know-how of how to get results. Defensively, we've been absolutely outstanding. And although we're not scoring as many goals uh, as we were two years ago, we're actually seven points better off, which is just remarkable. And I think sometimes you've got to step back and just be incredibly grateful for what Daniel Farker and Stuart Webber has done for the club, because we could easily be a... a 
in terms of our finances Delia obviously hasn't got the, the most money in the world we could if, if we are poorly managed we could easily be at the bottom end of the championship or dare I say even worse like the neighbours down the road um but yeah remarkable a job Daniel Fark has done and to be seven points better off than we were two years ago is absolutely brilliant not scoring as many as goals but in all the games we play we, we probably deserve the win we do enough and defensively we've been absolutely brilliant as well so yeah long may that the run continue and as you can see from the table Norris City um, are on 70 points and uh, typically like the magical number to get promoted is normally 90 in the championship but in the last couple of seasons um I think last season you only needed about 80 points and then maybe two years ago I think you only needed about 82 points so yeah Norris City are potentially five wins away from from promotion and I think this season the magical number to get promoted by if you look at the numbers is probably going to be about 85 86 so dare I say Norris City are, are five wins away potentially from um f from the Premier League which is really exciting um in terms of the predicted XI let's go through the team news quickly first um Fortunately, not too many injuries to key players. The only real key player who is out is Todd Campwell. Um, and we've got quite a few attacking players out, although we're nowhere near as bad as we were um, to uh, or earlier on in the season. Todd Campwell's injured, but should be back on Saturday against Luton. And Josh Martin uh, is still out. And Marcus Schiefman is still out, although they're close to team training. And that's pretty much it in terms of the main injury news. And um, this is my predicted XI, Tim Prawl in goal. Back four of Janulis, uh, Ben Gibson, Grant Hanley, Max Ahrens. So much love for that back line. Janulis is set, starting to settle in really well. Max Ahrens, Mr. Consistent, brilliant. And Ben Gibson and, and Grant Hanley have, have formed a formidable partnership at the back. And yeah, Ben Gibson was a superb signing. And another super, superb signing was Oliver Skip. Oliver Skip and Kenny McLean have been brilliant in that midfield. Kenny McLean's been progressive. And Oliver Skip's just done all the defensive work. He's probably very close to being our player of the season. I think Buendia and Skip are, are, are probably the two front runners for player of the season. Although, you know, the like Timo Puki could be joining that party too. Um, but they've been brilliant. In terms of the attacking line, Hernandez, Rancic and Buendia. Um, I know Hernandez, it was great to see him come back into the side and his pace will always cause teams problems. Mario Rancic has, has done well in that number 10 role. Not amazing, um, but he's done well and, and he, you know, he delivers key passes and Buendia... Yeah, we all know what he's all about. And Buendia and Puki have been that dream duo um, this season. The most goal combinations. And yeah, Buendia and Puki, absolutely brilliant. And um, long may that partnership continue. And that, that's it with Norwich. I think they're in a brilliant run of reform at the moment. But these games can always be decisive. Yes, every game is worth three points. But this is a six-pointer. This is a six-pointer. You know, if you lose these games, the momentum goes. And football's all about momentum. If you lose to Brentford, suddenly they're four points away from us. And they have that they can potentially have the momentum. So this is a big game of football um, for Norwich and Brentford, and it could really be decisive because come the end of the season, there's normally only a few points in it between first and second, and second and third. So this this is a real decider, and this could be absolutely massive. Um, they're my thoughts. It's going to be a very interesting one. Score prediction. I'm going to edge a 2-1 Norwich City win. I just think we're in such good form at the moment and we've got such a professionalism about us. Um, and it's going to be it's going to be a really entertaining game. Um, goal scorers. Puki is going to continue his goal scoring run. And I think Mario Rancic will get on the score sheet as well. But yeah, that's my thoughts. A massive game of football for Norwich coming up. Um, 10 points clear of third place and, and 7 points clear of Brentford. Um, but it's going to be a first versus second showdown and a game which could be pivotal come the end of the season. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new to Norwich City Central to follow all the match reaction and this incredible kind of running uh, Norwich City have got. Um, as your fingers crossed, hope to, to return to the Premier League. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.